Be Mortal, John Hancock here, and I have a special announcement. I am announcing the Portland Retro Gaming Expo exclusive that I'm bringing to the show, Game Panic 2. And Game Panic 2 uh, was programmed by Jason Santusi, and this is a sequel to the Atari 2600 game uh, I, that I offered a couple shows ago, Game Panic on the 2600. Uh, this is a Portland Retro Gaming Expo exclusive. It's going to be offered only at the show. Uh, I have a limited run of copies. Uh, I have about 50 carts and 40 uh, Sega CD version of the game. Now, what, uh, I'm going to showcase this, uh, kind of show you what packaging is included. But yes, uh, uh, it's a simple game. I'm going to show some gameplay. And I'm really excited about bringing this to the show. Um, where to find this at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo? Well, I'm glad you asked. So uh, this game is going to be located at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo Museum that's being offered this year. And so I'm going to be in the museum uh, as a curator showcasing a wonderful collection from Rick Wise and many others. I might bring a couple of things from my collection as well. I know that um, several people from around the country are bringing exclusive items to showcase in this crazy museum. And this uh, museum is um, behind one of the, um, uh, not the vendor hall, but uh, where the panels speak. And, and you definitely go to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo site, and if you take a look at the map there, it'll, it'll locate where the, the museum is. Now the museum is going to be open to the public. Uh, Saturday and Sunday and it's part of the admission uh, when you come to the show totally recommend it and again um, this is an exclusive for the show um, I'm also bringing uh, some of my previous other games that have been offered including um, the 2600 game I did for Callots Gamers for Kids a tour so uh, let's show some packaging and what game panic includes and then I'll show some video come check it out so here we go. Here's the packaging for Game Panic. And again, I apologize. I do not have the label finalized on the game. It will be finalized for the show. Um, here's the uh, case for the Sega Genesis version of the game. And again, uh, the game is similar. Uh, they're, they're both essentially the same game. Um, the Game Panic on the cartridge does say uh, PRGE 2016 on the title screen. And so uh, what what is included? Uh, you have a, uh, a a dead stock X Sega Genesis kind of a universal game case, but it's black. I did a survey on my Twitter earlier this year, and uh, collectors definitely voted they wanted the black cases. So I went out and uh, paid some extra money and got that. Um, I am using EA shells but I'm using brand new PCB boards from Second Dimension. And the Second Dimension um, um, has brand new PCBs and they fit the EA label shell. I had some leftover sports uh, titles that were completely uh, thrashed and so I'm using the carts and got rid of the EA clip. Nice uh, silver there. It does come with a uh, manual that showcases the game as well as a spider ring because it's Halloween and the bug is one of the enemies in the game. And <laughs> that's the back of it. It shows, you know, PRGE uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2016 exclusive. And that's what comes with the Genesis game. Now the Sega CD one, essentially the same game, a little bit different, just it doesn't have the PRGE 2016 in the title screen. And when you open it up, it comes with the same label, uh, the same manual, but it comes with a light scribe disc. Now, what's cool about this, uh, there isn't a label that peels off. It's, it's actually etched, laser etched into the disc. And this works on all Sega CD models that, that, can, can, they can, play, that can play burn games. And the cool thing is, is uh, it comes with a, like a blue DVD case. And so the Sega CD version of the game is 25 bucks. The Genesis version of the game is 40 bucks. And if you buy both together, uh, I'll, I'll knock five dollars off. So there you go. Uh, these are limited in stock, and they'll be an exclusive at the show. No, I will not sell early. 
The only way to get this game is to come to the show and come see me in the museum. I have a limited run of these, and once they're gone, they're gone. And uh, I do not plan on doing a second run, and this is just a fun thing I'm doing for the show. And I want to thank all the organizers of the Portland Retro Gaming Expo for the hard work and effort that they do putting on the show. The show is mammoth size this year. It's three days, and I can't wait to um, be a part of it and speak. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So uh, come see me. Come see. Come check out my panels, and uh, hope to see you there. Let's show some gameplay footage. So here you go. This is the game footage of Game Panic 2. It's a simple game. It's made to look uh, like a like a Game Boy style game. Um, again, uh, Jason Santusi programmed this. Uh, he's worked on other projects with me, including the original Game Panic, Catacombs of Chaos, and the last uh, last year's exclusive, Code Eliminator. And uh, this is a PRGE exclusive, and I will have a limited number of these at the show. Uh, available. So here we go. Uh, go ahead and get into the game, and uh, let's. Pretty much the premise is I gotta get, I gotta uh, collect homebrew games from the sky, and I have to get them out. So I have to avoid the bugs, and so I'm avoiding uh, these uh, games that are. Uh, sorry, not avoiding. I'm collecting these games and avoiding the bugs. And there are two difficulty settings. It starts off pretty easy. And once I hit, um, you're just moving left and right, and you're trying to avoid the the bugs. Uh, in the later stages, there's lightning bolts and and um, thunder clouds, and the clouds even swoop. Um, there, if you press A, B, and C and start, oh, see, I I lost a life. So here we go, and uh, it's a pretty challenging game. It's it's arcade fun. You press start to continue, and so the homebrew games, uh, the homebrew games drop. And I have to collect them. And then once you uh, pass a, uh, a, a post off, uh, a mailbox, uh, you then can um, send the games out, and that's how your score increases. It's kind of a strange premise, but it, it works great. And again, simple graphics, a lot of fun to play. Um, uh, and miles is a distance. As, as the miles go on, the game gets more complicated. And um, again, uh, at any time, if you want to... Uh, I press A, B, and C and start, and what I'm showing you is a more difficult version of the game as uh, uh, clouds and thunder. Oop, I died. <laughs> it gets really challenging. So here we go. Got to keep the retro fun going, and yes, yes, we do. So, you know, as it's dropping games from the sky and you're collecting them, oh, I died. So let's, let's, let's play again. My high score is 21. It's kind of cool. It keeps the high score there, and... Um, there we go, and uh, it starts back from scratch again. If you press A, B, and C, and and start at the same time, you can increase the difficulty for for people that want more challenging games. And here we go. Oh, died. One hit and you're dead. So it's it's a it's a it's a challenging game. Again, um, if you come, oh, died again. Pretty challenging. So this is just a fun game. It's uh it's 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 made to be played in short bursts. Uh, I definitely showed my son this game, and uh, he he loves it. Oh, died again. Wow, I'm not lasting long at all. <laughs> but again, high score 42. How high can your score be? Um, you know, I've talked about this uh, possibility of, um, you know, if there's, uh, I, I, I want this to be a show exclusive. You know, if if the demand is huge, I either I either will make more copies of the game or possibly release the ROM. And so. For people that can't come to the show, uh, don't worry. Um, we'll, we'll figure this out to make it uh, fair for people that just want to play the game. And again, uh, I just want to thank all my fans. Uh, it's it's been an incredible journey. I've uh, I've worked hard on uh, getting this game into physical uh, release for the show. Thank you, Jason Santusi. There's some other people I'd like to thank. Uh, my good friend John Rose, who helped with the manual. Uh, John Riggs helped with the label artwork. Um, thank you so much. Riggs also helped last year. And um, uh, Chris Trimmy of Lost Classics, he was the one who put all the PCBs uh, together. And um, thank you so much. And, and Corey, 
of Classics and Oddities for donating the PCB shells uh, for this game to be made. So thank you so much. Um, I just want to thank all the uh, family and friends support through this uh, uh, challenging time. Uh, this was a challenging summer for me personally. And we'd love to see you at the show. Come check out PRGE this, this upcoming week, uh, October uh, 21st through the 23rd. Please check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is the Immortal John Hancock signing out. Also, I just want to let my fans know that um, also I'm going to be doing, be part of two panels, not one, but two panels at PRGE as well. I do believe these are eventually be on YouTube, so people that can't go to the show can at least see my panels. Um, Saturday at from 12 to 12.45 in Auditorium B, I'm doing, that was a video game. I'm actually going to be bringing a new one, a CDI, and a 3DO with my good friend Chris Tremue of Lost Classics. And we're going to showcase some unusual and peculiar games uh, made for those systems. Also, I'm honored to be part of Metal Jesus' Rocks uh, and Friends uh, panel. And that's going to be from 3.30 to 4.15 uh, an, an auditorium B on Saturday. And then afterwards, we'll be part of an, an autograph uh, session um, at a determined location. And so um, I'm going to be in the museum all day Saturday and Sunday. I, I love if, if you're able to come to the show, come by, say hello. Um, I'm going to be there promoting the new Calitz Gamers for Kids. And I have flyers for that uh, April 1st. And uh, officially announcing that uh, Calitz Gamers for Kids uh, is in its eighth year, and we have chosen a different nonprofit to support. And that is going to our new nonprofit that we're supporting is the Ark of Calitz County that benefits children with autism. And, and, and anyways, I am so excited about uh, talking about Calitz Gamers for Kids. And hopefully just come by. Even if you saw any of my YouTube channels, I uh, wanted to say, say hello. Check out the crazy museum and crazy collection of Rick Wise, among other collectors. And I hope to see you there. And if you can't be there, it's okay. I'm going to continue to do YouTube videos. And this is the immortal John Hancock, signing out.